to welcome Vermont Governor Jim Douglas, who has some comments for us today. Well, Laura, thanks very much. Uh, uh, it's great to be here with all of you, um, and that's a, a tremendous uh, accomplishment by, by Adam and Karen, uh, uh, even if they didn't take the step that we're celebrating today. But uh, a year ago, it was uh, fun to be with them, with uh, BDCC and the Business Plan Competition. Uh, they were presented, I presented them with the uh, award for the best new business plan, and uh, just a little over a year later, we're here to celebrate uh, uh, the Zulu franchise concept and, uh, and see it uh, launch not only here but, uh, but elsewhere around the country. Uh, it's a pretty simple formula. Give people a, uh, a good meal at an affordable price with friendly service, uh, but now it can happen on an affordable basis in, in places uh, all around our country. So, Adam, Karen, uh, congratulations on what you've accomplished today, what you're going to accomplish in the future. I think this is a model that uh, other entrepreneurs can, can follow, whether it's in the food business or something else. Small business is the backbone of our economy. We don't have a whole lot of big, huge employers in Vermont. It's small businesses that uh, provide the stability and success that we enjoy. So congratulations on your next step. And without further ado, let's all welcome the Chairman, President, CEO, <laughs> Chief Cook and Bottle Washer, Adam Grinnell. I'll read occasionally. Um, before I discuss Zuhus, I wanted to first share a few thoughts about Wahoos and our business here. Uh, as many of you know, we're celebrating our 10th year in business, and we have many people to thank for the great 10 years. Top on that list are our two former founding partners, Wahoos, Chad Lackey and Andrew Colombo. Uh, who are, are very much missed at this juncture in our, our business development. Uh, in addition to them uh, is our staff. Uh, largely young high school and young adults uh, that have worked for us over the years, they daily demonstrate the traits and skills you'd expect from a seasoned veteran, and uh, we thank them. Um, <laughs> Our plan was to enable Vermont citizens to participate in a mobile food franchise opportunity that is affordable and financially rewarding. So why Zuhus and what happened to the water? Uh, <laughs> probably the number one question. Uh, well, federal trademark law. 18 years ago, a restaurant out on the West Coast fran uh, franchised and trademarked the fish Wahoo. Uh, four different legal opinions later, uh, the very emotional decision to rebrand became an easy business decision. We're calling it Zuhus, the baby Wahoo. <laughs> so what is Zuhus Eatery? Uh, Zuhus Eatery is a low-cost franchise system in the very fast-growing mobile food industry, offering fresh, quality, grass-fed Vermont burgers, Vermont Farms natural chicken, portobello mushroom wraps, hand-cut french fries, and internationally known, some are available over there, everybody can try some, uh, shakes and ice cream. All served from a trailer with exceptional service. We will begin our advertising campaign in the coming weeks and are very excited to be bringing this concept to market at this particular point. Many factors have aligned to make this the right product at the right time. The mobile food industry was recently named the number one growing chain in food sales for 2010. Our proven, easy-to-manage system for high-volume quality food sales, the low cost, and low, low cost and low barriers to entry, and the soaring popularity of quality fresh food as opposed to frozen, unappealing fast food. As two native Vermonters, Karen and I are pleased to be bringing this franchise offering to market here in southern Vermont. We look forward to becoming another great Vermont product revered throughout the country. With that, I'd like to now invite the Governor, Douglas, to commence with the ceremonial ribbon. Douglas? Here we are. Okay. We're going to do this all. We're here. Oh, We've done this one. Yeah, we'll do it. 